So Monty Williams is not expected to accept a buyout. Allegedly, what Jake Fisher says, for now the bottom of the standings, there has been an ongoing speculation around rival front offices in the NBA about a potential change atop Detroit's organizational chart. Obviously, we're expecting Troy Weaver to be fired. But at this point, one source with knowledge of the situation says there's no expectation that Monty Williams would be open to any buyout of his six-year $78.5 million contract. And with that being said, if you guys didn't know, I know a beat writer. Well, he's not in Detroit. He's leaving Detroit now. I think he's going to Dallas to be a Mavericks beat writer. But he, I asked him, he hasn't gotten back to me, but I asked him if there was a buyout clause, if he was aware of a buyout clause in Monty Williams' contract. And from right now, I can't see that there is. And I know they had to convince him because his wife was sick. But that six year, $78.5 million contract had a, the Pistons had a league record. 28 game straight losing streak and they're currently last place in the eastern conference it is bad it is bad in detroit in terms of monty williams's performance as the pistons head coach now i think they keep him around but the question is he was a decent coach or seemingly so he had this concept with the Suns. it was like half second offense where you had half a second to make a decision pass shoot or dribble and that didn't carry over here i know the other team so was the team just players driven i just and he wasn't bad in new orleans i just i feel i think if we get a new front office in in here i feel like people we can give him a better assessment but when we look at the Pistons, dude, this year, the Pistons were a team that currently, if you look at their league rankings, they are 27th in offense rating, 26th in defensive rating. They are 35% three-point shooting collectively, like percent from three as a team, 13-65. Their only good stat is their free throw rate that they're top, they're the 11th best free throw percentage in the league. But besides that, I, like literally their free throws are the only thing they're top 15 everything else i guess they're the 16th best rebounding team everything else they're bottom 10 or bottom five or bottom two or but the worst shout out cade though cade look i think cade cunningham no one's give everyone's acting like he's a bust and stuff i honestly think cade's look great he's shooting 45 percent from the field he's putting up you know almost six threes a night at 35.5 percent from the field seven and a half assists dropping 23 points a night like and then you got yourself behind that behind that you got your brand new simone fontecchio who's just straight up being like a 15 point per game score for them i always knew he was gonna do that did you know his family's from pescada he's from pescada my dad's from pescada all right Jaden ivy another 15 points per game score shooting 33 percent uh, it's all right it's not bad and i think I, also james wiseman has had his moments james wiseman i'm not saying he's great but he's had moments there's things that if you're a pistons fan it's not the end of the world and by the way I really do think Monty Williams has helped Cade Cunningham because if you guys have not been paying attention to the, the Cade Cunningham, Cade down the stretch right now, like in February, he was shooting 44% from three. Now I know March that dropped down to 32%, but he's still putting up 22. I mean, in December, this is a guy who was shooting 50% from the field, 35% from three on 25 points a night. I think there's some good things that Monty has done and I wouldn't fire him. So let's get to the next guy.